Hello, I'm Lieutenant General John Hyten. Our military is experiencing significant challenges in our efforts to become more energy secure. In an era of tight budgets and increasing fuel prices, our high energy needs demand our focus and everyone's help to find more energy efficient ways to conduct our missions. The Air Force is the largest consumer of energy in the federal government, spending more than $8.2 billion for electricity and fuel in the last year alone. The Air Force has cut facility energy use 30% since 1994, although utility rates have increased nearly 100% during the same period. We're spending a billion dollars a year on utilities for our facilities. Unlike other Air Force major commands, Air Force Space Command's mission flying arrows do not depend on jet fuel. Our mission's different. In the space and cyberspace domains, our activities are dependent on facility energy. In fiscal year 11 alone, Air Force Space Command spent over $107 million on energy, 97% of which was facility energy consumption. As such, we have the highest energy use per square foot of any command in the Air Force, 25% higher than the next closest MAGCOM. That's why in 2013, we're focusing our command's energy awareness efforts on mission energy management. As a command, we've invested $97 million since 2008 on infrastructure management projects directed towards energy conservation. Those investments enabled us to avoid $17.4 million in energy costs last year, and the investments will continue to pay dividends through the life of these projects. But we cannot rest with these highly successful accomplishments. Together, we must continue to excel. Electricity is our command's major source of fuel. It sustains our flying hour program and powers our facilities, delivering critical information upon which our American way of war depends. And today's budgetary environment places an even greater importance on reducing our energy costs. While our mission equipment generates our biggest energy bills, their contributions have not been as rigorously examined as support facilities. That must change. We must learn to address and manage mission energy. For example, we need to look at power usage for radars and data centers and deluge waters for rocket launches and find ways to create savings. Energy used by missions at some site, like Cape Cod's Pave Paws, accounts for up to 67% of the total site energy consumption. We can do better. In our quest, we must consider opportunities to address the most energy intense mission activities at every installation, including radar, antenna, rain systems. Don't take the energy needed to run our missions for granted. Challenge the status quo. Air Force Space Command will continue to lean forward and capture big impact facility energy projects like executing the Thule Air Base Consolidation Plan and addressing excess power issues at Clear Air Force Station. We'll actively pursue other facility energy systems as well, but our strategies for meeting congressional mandates and executive orders must consider mission energy. Unique missions and locations offer tremendous opportunities for technology innovation. I'm asking each of you to evaluate your processes for energy saving improvements, especially within our energy intense mission areas. Space Command will continue to support the joint fight while reducing energy demands, fostering a culture that seeks to improve operational effectiveness and increase our energy security across all our mission areas. Remember, this isn't about reducing our capabilities or making our facilities less functional. It's about effectively managing our mission activities. We've all dedicated ourselves to a continued pursuit of excellence. It's why America's airmen are the best at what they do, and as good stewards of our nation's resources, I know your ingenuity will lead to increased energy efficiency. Thank you for all you do and for your contributions to this fight.